as I have discussed with you in my earlier module that is we will be talking about the group discussion, uh, panel uh, discussion and the exercises and the brainstorming sessions. Now, I will demonstrate that is how the group discussion is to be conducted and uh, here I am having the students with me those who will take one particular topic and they will have the group discussion. Similarly, while conducting your training program you can ask your trainees to come forward and then talk about the particular topic like this we are conducting this particular group discussion and then you can give your comments on basis of that particular group discussion as I will be giving my comments also later on as an observer uh, for to this particular group. Before we start for the group discussion I will request my students to introduce themselves. So, first we can start. Uh, uh, hello I am Deepak, uh, Deepak Patidar, I am uh, from Indore. I did my engineering in mechanical stream from RGB University. Currently, I am pursuing my MBA from Department of Management Study IIT Rudki in MBA in uh, Finance in Marketing. And I did my summer internship from uh, Kremika Food Industry Limited and uh, as a financial analyst and uh, I uh, assisted them for their imminent IPO process uh, of DRHP. Thank you. Good. Hello everyone. My name is Shubham Dhakar. Uh, I am from Jaipur and uh, I did my engineering in mechanical uh, stream and then I am pursuing uh, management here at DOMS IIT Roorkee uh, in the fields of operations and HR and I did my summer internship at uh, TAFE Motors and uh, Tractors Limited that's uh, the new name of Aisha. Uh, so I was working there as a management trainee. Hello everyone, I am Sahil Jatale and uh, I am from Indore. I did my civil engineering from Acropolis Institute of Technology Indore and currently I am pursuing MBA from Department of Management Studies IIT Roorkee and my specializations are HR and marketing. I did my summer internship from Middle Earth HR and I was a HR and marketing trainee. Right, good. Yes, please. Hello everyone, I am Sneshish Khan. I, I am from Kolkata and I did my B.Tech in Computer Science Engineering from Meghnaksha Institute of Technology. I am, per, I am presently pursuing MBA in Marketing and Operations from Department of Management Studies IIT Turkey. I completed my summer internship at Reliance Geo Kolkata in the role of marketing intern. Good. So, hello Thank everyone, you. I am Mohit Verma. I have a humble background from Delhi. Uh, I have done my B.Tech in Mechanical and Automation Engineering from Maharaja Agrasen Institute of Technology, which is also in Delhi. I have come here at Department of Management Studies to pursue my management studies, um, my MBA course in the area of marketing and operations. I have done my summer internship at Hexagon India and I'm pretty excited about the course here. Mm. Good. So, now they have introduced like the trainees they will come if it is an heterogeneous group. So, the all the trainees will introduce themselves and now we will start the group discussion and in practice that how it is to be conducted. So, we have got the topic from our trainer and the topic for group discussion is internet uh, social networking on internet is a boon. So, we uh, as a group we will put forward the points. Uh, for on this topic. Uh, so, as we can uh, see that uh, nowadays uh, internet is going uh, li last uh, one, one decade, if you see the studies of last one decade, there are so many applications of social media connectivity has come and uh, so many indulgence in so particular social media networking web websites and uh, apps has uh, grown rapidly. Mm -hmm. So, according to me, uh, it is uh, eating a lot of time of the productive time we cannot uh, we can uh, go somewhere, we can do something, but we are, we are uh, like uh, devoting our time there. I believe that this, despite what you have stated, social media increases the connectivity between people by a significant degree. Before social media existed, you could, you could not inform your near and dear ones or your friends or family without personally informing them individually or if they were living nearby, then only could you inform them about your daily lives. Yeah, uh, I agree with you that uh, social media has made our life easier, definitely. Because uh, communicating and contacting with your family members, friends or whosoever sitting XYZ place of the uh, world, it was very difficult in earlier days. Mm -hmm. But now communication has become uh, a very rapid thing. In Within a few minutes, you can get the information of the world. I agree to that, but there are ample amount of studies which also say that social media is a bit of addicting thing, right? For for instance, uh, social media may introduce some sort of personality 
deviances which were not present while you were not using social media so i am uh, agree with the uh, mohit uh, and uh, i want to counter your uh, point like uh, there are so many other alternatives to connect our parents or or dear and ones okay we can connect via phone we can connect by other source but social media we are not uh, using that as a connectivity at at the large we are just uh, like uh, devoting our time and we are uh, uh, like i, I yeah. actually disagree to that point and i think that uh, social networking has both sides and i want to give an example with regarding that also so in the previous decade there used to be so many clubs for example rotary club in each city they had other clubs for like for commerce uh, commerce security related clubs and uh, development city development related clubs these were clubs that were physically there and uh, the members had to actually go there and meet everyone and actually network there through uh, talking them face to face whereas social networking has uh, opened up the ar- ar- arena for being con- in contact with people from outside the particular area where the club they was situated they have diluted the boundaries yes they have but dal- diluted i will just the make a point of but in the counter of that the relation that they act- the previous uh, clubs formed the physical relation the one to one talk and the networking they made uh, by actually going <coughs> and meeting the people that has diluted and the kind of trust that that kind of relationship made has not been found in any social networking but i will just like a point out in response to this that despite the fact that uh, personal distance may have increased the physical distance is no longer a barrier for connectivity so despite this i think on an overall spectrum considering the overall spectrum connectivity uh, between people has been has improved due to social media uh, but sometimes i think that this connectivity is like a fake kind of thing because uh, if if the person who is sitting in practical on the ground level uh, which i have uh, seen that a person who is beside sir if i have social media then i don't give so much attention to that person i am i indulge in my own thing okay so the person who is beside sir or person who is there are so many chances to connect them there are so many chances to exchange the thoughts and so many chances to exchange uh, like ideas which we can get and we can learn lot of things a person who is beside sir or person from surroundings or observation but we are indulge in a like four or five inch of screens and then we are lost the thing i think the ai has changed yeah. because earlier they don't used to be multinational companies who used to have night shifts earlier a very a particular or typical 9 to 5 job used to be existed so people could find time and they could uh, during their evening times they could match up and catch up everyone but now things have changed in the present world someone is going in night shift someone is going in morning shift someone in noon so even people from uh, same family couldn't meet for uh, uh, long duration of time so they couldn't exchange their thoughts so i think this is an alternate to this problem actually this- what just uh, sail said uh, actually adds to what i wanted to say that in previous like if you see ten pre- in previous 10 years there used to be every person has 24 hours per like per day and he exp- uh, uh, spends those 24 hours as per his requirement so if you see the trend uh, in those in this previous 10 years so the trend has moved from doing actual activities use useful meaningful activities to completely social networking and uh, you know utilizing the apps so if let's say if you wanted to train in something so you could have spent like 2 hours 3 hours on a training class in previous time now the, the what people do they spend the entire 3 hours on social networking which may or may not be adding value that much as a particular training may do so mm-hmm. that's a kind of trend i'm talking about that's actually harming the society we can yeah. also see that there is a lot of noise in the social networks right, right now on the internet for instance you have advertisement that you don't want to see but artificial intelligence counters that however if you go to the particular event for social networking for instance now linkedin is collaborating for organizing the events that are offline not just online so there you don't have to you know waste your time on activities that you don't want to do however in social media there are chances that you will waste your time uh, I, adding to him uh, like one more important point that uh, it is uh, like uh, uh, hampering the viewpoints of people as well they are circulating the news and the same news going in the uh, hand of the people very rapidly and it may harm the society as well like elections mm-hmm. in elections uh, uh, us elections and now in our, uh, our country is going to be happen in 2019 so uh, like government of india strictly uh, say bent to uh, facebook kind of uh, uh, social medias mm-hmm. that they cannot be they cannot be involved these kind of things but still the opinions has been changed the just because of the transfer of uh, this kind of uh, informations I so it could be uh, hamper the overall result of the 
uh, society and uh, I will like this point of response of this because all and support of this is also incidents of fake news pro yes. being promote, promoted through social media yes. but i will also like to point out a counter to this so social media has also been a resistance in cases of disaster relief for example mm -hmm. in for facebook you can mm -hmm. notify whether you are yes. safe or not yes. in case of a Latest crisis example of kerala uh, floods yes. that happened so many people could rescue themselves uh, army could get to know that where the particular uh, person is stuck and who can help him so uh, social networking has a uh, very good effect in yeah, this in this scenario i'm uh, completely but agree talking on a larger scenario i would say that uh, as far as business is concerned now many businesses are online shifted from uh, traditional brick and mortar uh, within the boundaries they have gone online so companies are diversifying themselves through social media so we cannot uh, ignore this part of uh, social media that it has make business effective and economical B uh, without lesser risk with less resources a startup could be uh, introduced and people can purchase the things online uh, as in case of amazon and flipkart i want to add an in indian context here if you see the majority of population don't have the access to internet in india however there are approximately 300 million users subscribers of in internet in india the masses of the india is n still you know depending on the age old custom of meeting people however the internet is not very you know accepted in the terms that you think in the west when you see of the masses of india the context is bit different from the us context or european context or japanese context for instance so uh, like i wanted to uh, point out that as you said that the uh, business is moving the industry 2.0 is coming on the industry is moving completely online Yes, it has provided the arena for advertisement, but as uh, uh, as Sneha she said that there is a lot of fake news because every person, as every X Y Z person without any credibility or any backing, can create a event or a news or a like source for a news that can be utilized by other person to create a hysteria. Now that's something that's a kind of uh, situation that social networking has not yet uh, uh, I've faced. they are saying that it's part of the inter uh, internet revolution and it has actually freed people and they have given the freedom of uh, the yes, right yes, to sir. speak to people but they are not considering the impact of actual uh, actual uh, right being implemented there because uh, the you, credibility of like the responsibility not everyone has a sense of responsibility as like we have as as an intellectual we have some people use it derogatorily you can say uh, see it during various elections of va various countries these uh, the digital marketing has actually become part of uh, the campaign of various political parties they actually analyze how the people uh, react to a candidate so and what's the kind of situation online and they that's how they judge the behavior of people and predict that yeah how much chances a candidate has so it, it your opinion social media is actually a Give to mankind, but it can it is being abused by people, right? Yeah, it can be remedy. Uh, there could be remedy like uh, the validation of the news. If someone is going to uh, uh, like uh, circulating our news among the people, or the, so there should be something a system of filter where it it would be validated. If it would be validated, then this is the this is the best thing for the human kind. Yeah, when human you, kind of people. When you talk about the best filter, thing. when you talk about that filter, I think the problems that we have raised here are most of them are sh you know short lived. with the advent of technology with the acceptance of technology in the form of artificial intelligence the filters can be added which can remove these kind of fake news yes. per se like so in day to life a day to day life people make online friends and they go to meet them and uh, we certainly read uh, instances where they have been cheated or looted by yes. them mm. but on the other hand we are not seeing that thing that if some kid is lost or somewhere he has missed uh, or from his near and dear ones he could also be gathered or he could meet the original thing uh, his natives through the social media so it up to the human or main kind that how he makes the use of that social media as a tool to connect or to be cheated but again it's again for the like in the hands of people whether they want a firewall as china has put up again around their social media that uh, mm. they monitor mm. the social mm. media or do we want somewhat freedom as very various european nations have provided to the citizen but again we have to uh, like as a and as intellectuals we have to understand the pros and cons yes there are some pros regarding social media yes they have uh, eased the life of various victims or 
various people who uh, who have lost their family but again as i said uh, it's not like i can give you an example so for example in a large community there is one one uh, sect of it which is very influential online they mm-hmm. are publishers they are media uh, media personalities mm-hmm. they are uh, i would say uh, idols of uh, the new millennials so these people in their own spat can spread a news that is actually not true about the entire society mm-hmm. so that's come something that needs to be countered the right should be equal for everyone it is not it should not be a situation where only few people can control the flow of information and create a trend that's actually not good for the society but then it's an individual's responsibility to determine what is a fact and what is an opinion see the time taken between acknowledging the responsibility by the individuals by the part of the society is in in the information age and on the social media is still it's it's still very slow the in case of influencers they react very fast to these situations actually and there's a easy. big difference between opinion opinion and educated opinion so that actually is the main criteria of consideration of so that's the situation right in social media how do we separate those so uh, i think the problem is that the last one decade the things are rapidly changing a lot of things happen so uh, we are not analyzing the things in a like in a short period of time ki what is happening and what is not happening so we human being also very confused about that how to use this tool and how can how can it be beneficial for us mm-hmm. so in a in a rapid way or in a uh, anonymously or in a like uh, lack of knowledge we do the things which we should not be do we are not supposed to be do that things which we are circulate the newses which are not we supposed to be circulate the things just because of this we need to hear education as well we need to integrity and the integrity of the particular things that we which we have to circulate which we don't have to circulate which will harm and what is the intensity of the harming of the things like defense so whatever the things are happening in the defense we cannot uh, uh, like uh, we cannot circulate among the people because these are very secretive norms and everything is uh, secretive kind of things so this kind of things we also need to understand and we need to educate ourselves and uh, our society as well that how to use this tool but apart from defense i would say that even we share our personal news that is also not good so we should know the boundaries and people should be educated properly before using the internet before giving them smartphones we should make them aware that how and what is to be posted people uh, very often share that where they are going what is their location there are high chances and there have been instances in the past mm-hmm. that people have been kidnapped or been cheated because of their location sharing or their personal information such as birth dates mm-hmm. or something so this shall be uh, this is the in the this ball is in the court of the human that who is using it so mm-hmm. he should be educated properly then he should be uh, using the thing uh, and i also seen uh, so many instances that the people are so much addict, uh, addicted towards this kind of applications and everything they don't consider their family members as well their lives has been completely changed they don't uh, uh, like uh, 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 spare a time with them and then uh, do the things which they earlier used to do these things mm-hmm. so it is impacting the, uh, the uh, new generation as well they are also not devoting their that much of time and that's why the intellectually or the morally or their uh, Uh, emotionally they are not as much developed as they are supposed to be developed in which we have developed I, I will just like to just point the out the reason behind it is that the kind of euphoria that we had when we were young by creating with mental friends friends mm-hmm. again the situation is coming back into the old, like uh, uh, like in the old older ages being teen or being adults that we get the same euphoria again when we think about our virtual friends so i think that's a reason why the, the level of development that the current youth has and the youth that was like few decades back the level of maturity and the development was, is not there in yeah. i, I will just I, like just point out that mankind has always evolved and has adapted to the use of various tools and technologies when newspapers came mankind became started reading newspapers when radio came they started listening to radio when television came they started watching the tv for many hours at a day every day same has occurred with social media they will it will also be phased out by similar technology some day okay so but they see the people have actually adopted technologies because they thought that they were actually good for them newspaper was uh, adopted because it represented the freedom of press yes that any information they provide is actually better for us and better for our development and our knowledge of the outside world but the current technology is making people more reactive rather than uh, inquisitive about information they react faster to any uh, let's say any news 
rather than to inquire it that actually what happened that actually i will just like a point out when edison invented a light bulb people were very critical of it people do not want it mm -hmm. but it and when some of other uh, some of his other inventions were also rejected by the masses after a while they some of them were even abused in for various work but similarly after a while it stabilized it became a it's just something that is social used media by people. is designed in such a way that users get addict, addicted, addicted to it. For instance, you need more viewers so that your business can flourish. Yeah, Actually, business very, models depend on uh, the viewers. Is like their whole soul money is coming from the viewers mm -hmm. and the participants. The more the uh, they participate, the more time they will spend. Is mm -hmm. time factor is also very important. Actually, the I more time they will spend, the more they will the, the money. Kind of core of what's the issues behind mm -hmm. any any issue behind mm -hmm. social mm -hmm. networking. As he said that uh, when the bulb was invented, the people were critical to it. When photography was invented, the church churches were critical to it because they thought that it was work of devil. So there was a distant like there is a set uh, there was a period of time okay that actually allowed people to digest the knowledge that mm. this new technology was had had been providing. Whereas in case of social media, there has been no gestation time. The people have directly as I said that the people have become more more reactive to technologies rather than more inquisitive. So the people didn't get that gestation time. But eventually, I believe in gestation the will occur. On yeah. the contrary, I think the gestation period has already passed. Yes. For instance, you can see people just sticking sticking to their mobile phone and walk, walking on the roads. Yes. You know, this is because they have been acceptable accepting the technology on the social media. But how many people do you think those who are addicted to the social networking mm. actually know that how the social networking actually works? Do they know that the information that uh, the revenues uh, they actually generate for the company that they are actually the uh, pseudo and, uh, employees for the company? Do they know that? If you ask the people who are very addictive, addicted to the social networking, I would say like eighty percent to ninety percent of the people don't actually know that what's the business model or how the uh, social networking actually works. Yes. What's when the we, when we think talk about it, might be knowing it because <laughs> when refrigerator or say air conditioners were uh, introduced. people didn't accept it very easily even in rural areas people don't use now as well so i can say that people might be knowing uh, you are saying about addiction so people who smoke or say drink that is also an addiction mm -hmm. so they knew it that what is the harmful effects or what they have to suffer but they don't accept it uh, openly but they knew it from the inside again, that i like to quote my uh, the concept i gave that there is a certain gestation period regarding any new thing cigarettes for example it was a gestation period where people thought that it was fun it was cool and it was very good for them mm. but after some time people acknowledged no this is causing cancer right same similar for refrigerators so uh, initially people thought that it was a very good technology it was revolutionary for the industry pricing was an issue initially uh, yeah pricing was an issue issue but my point was that after some uh, uh, so like after some time after they actually got to the gestation of like the technology that what actually it, how actually it works they came to know that the gases that were utilized the refrigerants they were actually causing the de depletion of ozone layer now the newer refrigerants are ozone friendly mm. now this is something i am saying that people have directly gone into social networking i am saying still ki that 90% of the people don't actually know how it works now until and unless you know how it works you won't know that what's the pros and con of any technology they only understand the superficial thing of it that yes i want to spend uh, send some photos or uh, send some details to my friends i'll use this app from a but, consumer's point of view i think yeah. what you're saying is partially true because as a consumer i want technology to make my life easier whether it's a refrigerator because it's quite pricey i may not accept it initially however maybe later on i'll be using it for social networking the same same scenario maybe because my friends are not on the social network what should i do so when my friends are on the social network i'll also be on the social network so that i can be in constant touch with them okay so as we have discussed here and uh, uh, i want to come in the conclusion part okay. uh, so uh, in conclusion uh, there are mixed opinion from the group like uh, somebody is liking it somebody is not liking it somebody the extension uh, like uh, they are uh, liking it to some extent so they are not liking it up to that extent mm -hmm. so we got the mixed opinion and uh, 
I want to conclude that social media is a very good for the human humankind on the part of uh, connectivity on the part of expressing their thoughts but it is bad for the humanity or a uh, social uh, society when it is a uh, fake news or uh, addiction kind of things are associated with this mm-hmm. so uh, this is all up to the person or individual who is using them and the society with whom they are living so that they should not uh, hamper their life as well as and they should use this tool very uh, uh, with their wisdom so this is the conclusion of our gd I want to add one last line that uh, social media is a boon but conditions apply. Okay. Thank you so boon. much. Thank you so much. Uh, as you have observed this group discussion, uh, it was uh, intentionally planned and now I will give certain feedback to these participants and interacting with them and you will also see that is the how the trainer has to conclude this particular session as a part of the training program. Uh, I have mentioned in my earlier module about that is whenever we talk about the group discussion. In the group discussion, there are two parts are very, very important. First is the content and the second one is the soft skill that is your communication, your body postures. So, uh, before uh, uh, I, I start my comments, I will take uh, the feedback from the participants that is the vendors they came to know about this particular topic. So, what was their reaction? Deepak. Sir, uh, then uh, first of all I thought about I, uh, I thought about the content like what should I have to start and then uh, when my uh, uh, like uh, colleagues uh, they were uh, putting their points then uh, uh, I was also brainstorming myself as well that uh, how to uh, like uh, response them and ho- how to accept their points and what are their important points and everything. Mm. So, it was a very good uh, exercise we had done here. So, and, uh, uh, what uh, is your strength do you think during group discussion and uh, where you think that you are required to improve upon? Uh, sir, uh, first of all strength was my listening, uh, mm. li- I listen everyone's point mm. and then at the same time uh, I was making my point in my mind as well. Mm. So, this is my strength. Mm. Second thing is that uh, uh, there might be a communication, I, I think my communication is the point where I have to work out mm. because the particular word, mm. I have to think about that which word I have to put. So, mm. th- this is the slightly area where I have to improve. Right, okay, fine. So, as far as it was a very good brainstorming session, mm. my colleagues could uh, tell me much what I used to think about social media. So, it was beyond the boundaries, mm. what I used to think the mm. pros and cons of social media. Mm. As far as the strength I w- am concerned, it was like I was good in is- listening skills and uh, thinking more on what a person could point out because what I need to know that is more important. Mm. I can tell at the end as well. Mm. And where I need to improve is that uh, I go much deep into the listening of the other part and uh, I hesitate to speak. So, I could speak lesser in that thing, mm-hmm. I think this is my uh, Right. So, therefore, if we uh, first I will take these two participants feedback and the, the trainer then has to help them that is the what is important is the vocabulary, okay. vocabulary is very important. So, you might be uh, first is the ideation. That is whether the idea, what idea comes in your mind. As soon as you uh, listen the particular topic, then immediately you have to synchronize your ideas. ideas. That uh, what will be the ideas is there. Uh, normally, I suggest the participants to go through the spelt social, political, economical, legal, and technological. So these points are you have to immediately consider. For example, the social media. What is the social impact is there? What is the political impact is there? Like the one participant has mentioned about the election and all. So then, then definitely in that case, that was the political point is there. Is there any economic effect is there? Because you are the management graduate, so you have to also see it is having the advertisement uh, effect, mm, yes, right? Economic. So the economic effect is to be seen. Legal effect, like nowadays, uh, the major problem is that is the legal aspect Val- of these particular of social news. media. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. and that points you have covered mm-hmm. that is about the it is it should not be the fake news, and if yes. it is a fake, then uh, it is a misuse of the social media, right? So then there are the legal aspects that their government India is working on that, right? And the technological mm-hmm. aspect is there. So, technological aspect is the strength of this particular. So, uh, what I will suggest Sahil that is the uh, that communication practice and synchronization of ideation because it is very important in group discussion your initiation, what initiative you take and then uh, second is how do you conclude. So, so initiation, participation and conclusion, these three aspects are very very important. Yes, Shubham. 
so uh, i think my take on the gd was that the idea of being uh, diplomatic about any any topic is most important when we go for a gd because it's not necessary that uh, we have to only point out our opinion we have to understand the other's opinion and change our stand as per that and that's required in uh, outside world as well mm. now my strength in uh, in the gd was that uh, i was uh, admit ad, admin uh, sorry strong on my uh, topic and i was ready to push my idea towards it but i was also listening towards what other others were saying mm. for example sneha shish and uh, mohit also pointed out the uh, issues with my point and also their points actually reinforced my point so i was ready to accept what they had to give to me mm. and uh, keep my mind open towards new ideas and new uh, pr- perspectives towards the social media uh, as many of uh, us didn't know that the social media w- was actually used in the campaigns of electo- elect- uh, elections, elections. so i actually thought that uh, that would be an important part of jd and uh, getting to know now i didn't know that uh, uh, the brick brick mortar system what what was the impact of uh, development of the business online mm. now they uh, the others came uh, told me about it so Silence i think that uh, that openness helped me out in understanding right. topic so i agree that is we have to listen uh, to others also and then uh, we have to put our points also but uh, just a word of caution is that that but uh, one should not look the confused yes. right mm-hmm. one should uh, be very clear that it about this particular topic whether he is in favor or he is in against so he can talk about the favor also he can talk about the against also, also he can talk about the strengths also he can talk about the weakness also but at the end when he is speaking about the strengths weaknesses or balancing these points at the end he should be clear what is his opinion so whether ultimately he takes it as a strength or ultimately he takes it as a weakness so be careful that is whenever you are making the group discussion finally your opinion should come as a firm opinion right yes what is about you he was uh, in a uh, leadership position sitting uh, is concerned however as per as the body language is concerned so uh, some of them were having the cross hands right so cross hands are not to be there it should be open hand uh, like the sahil sitting you if you observed that was a proper uh, which has been told that is in the group discussion what should be the body language uh, and as per as the lead position leader's position was good only thing that he was little bit bent so avoid it and you have to stand erect as per as the eye contact is concerned all of you were having the very good uh, eye contact that was the strength and it was really looking like a discussion in a group however your points please this gd was a very good learning experience and i learned much from by listening to opinions of my colleagues i learned to uh, understand that my own views are not the only views and there are does and i have much to learn from my colleagues My, as far as strengths are concerned i think i had a good uh, firm grasp on a concept of the gd concept of the topic but uh, i think i have much i have to improve on the structure of the gd as well as my body language uh, okay what is about the comments uh, as a leader a position uh. the, the, my position as a leader i don't really have any actual comments on actual that. comment on that okay <laughs> fine yes please so my first thought was that it's a gd not a debate hmm. it's a discussion not a debate so i have to be an active listener very good point when you everybody is speaking something they may have something different point of view i have different point of view but that should not be the center point of a gd the gd is to explore if you are exploring an issue you can find out that you are not thinking what other person is thinking that what happened with me on certain point however we can also explore the concept of lateral thinking you know for when i'm thinking something maybe i'm thinking in some particular direction from top to bottom uh, structure however in lateral thinking you go sideways as well uh, my mm-hmm. i think that soft skills was a very good concept that this gd didn't became a fish market fish mm-hmm. everybody was you know very open to others opinions and that helped me express my opinions i was a bit hesitant on what should be the point of entries for the gd mm. that was i think my weakness okay 
So, this is all about the their opinion and I am sure that is the in the GD as I mentioned the content and then the soft skills. If you focus on that then definitely you can have the very uh, fruitful discussion in a group. Thank you, thank you all of you. Thank you, thank thank you. Thank you. Thank you sir.